Hi everyone, I wanted to record an introduction on how to use bridgebase.com. This is a place where you can play bridge online because thanks to COVID-19, you know, all the bridge clubs are shut down as they should be. So a lot of people are moving to play bridge online. You can play bridge with your friends from the comfort of your own home. And if you've been playing at the club, like exclusively, you just play club bridge. Well, one of our biggest games, the Monday Night Club game, the director is moving the game to bridge base. So even your duplicate tournament, you know, you can play on bridge base. So I want to go through five points uh, of what I think are fundamental and useful for bridge base, how I use it daily. And the first one is registering and logging in, right? So this is the very first step everyone's going to need to do. So just, uh, just to be clear, bridgebase.com, exactly as it sounds, bridgebase. Hit login register, top right corner. Uh, if you have an account, you can obviously skip this step. You just log in. You don't need me to tell you. Otherwise, become a member. This is free. There's, there's nothing. Uh, username, password, max 10 characters. Remember both of them if you, and just for my personal spiel, uh, use a password that is not used on your other accounts. Like if you have a bank account and you have a password, don't use that password. Use a different password. If you have trouble remembering it, write it down on a piece of paper and put it in your wallet with your other expensive pieces of paper. All right. So username, password, all this stuff. You can, I, I like to put in my real name, at least my first name, ACBL number. This is all not required. Like you can see, this doesn't matter. Agree to the terms of service and then hit register. They might have you give an email address. That's fine. Do that. So once you do that, you come back here and you hit log in and I already have a tab open. So that was point one. Okay. The second point, once you create a BBO account is to add friends. This is really, really important. Um, playing with random people on bridge base is kind of miserable. I have to say that's one of the downsides it's, and it's not bridge base, it's people. So you really, really want to add your friends. So you can see here, there are these tabs here. I have these friends online. So how did I add them? So you got to talk to your friends, you know, say, Hey, I'm, I am Kachung. This is me. Uh, what's your screen name? So I'm going to take Phil here. Phil's name is Phil. He will start off as neutral. All right. Oh, he's gone from my list. So what I can do is I just, I ask Phil Clayton, you know, what, is, what is your screen name? And he says, oh, it's just Phil. Okay, well, I'll add, whoop, there he is. And another thing you can do is, let's say you're sitting at a table with someone. Um, oh, I'm not gonna demo here, I can't demo here. But you say you're sitting at a table with someone, their name is gonna show up here. Oh, I can't demo. And then you click their name and Never East is Adam Grosak. So if I wanted to add him as a friend and just, Click here, follow, okay? So as long as you're following someone, friend means they followed you back, it doesn't really matter. But as long as you're following someone, you can see that they're online, right? So this is the first half of point two, this is how to add a friend. Uh, the other way is to message them. You just click their name and you can message, uh, hi, 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 hi. And you can send them a chat. Would you like to play? All right, so that's, Point two, first one was register an account. Second one was add a friend and talk to them. These two are really, really important. Okay, the third thing, once you do that is you ask them, do you wanna play? And they say, yes. So this is the very first screen you see when you log in right here. I click casual and you can see these options are to help you find a game. This sits you down with random people or with three robots, which is fine, but you know, this is not what you wanna do. Uh, start a table. And look, you have these options. Okay, so these are totally up to you. Permission required to kibitz, permission required to play, invisible, doesn't matter. But I can make the table, click on these seats, and let's put Never East in the East seat. Let's see if you know. So the point is, you can do this, and then you can start a table. This, this doesn't really matter. It just play, hit start competitive, it doesn't matter. Uh, hit that, and then your counterparts here will get a pop-up on their screen with a dun dun and they can hit yes and they will join your table and off you go okay uh, so that was point three how to host a table and reserve for your friends you don't have to check all these I, I actually do like to check these i think you should check at least those two to keep your sanity just trust me on that uh, the fourth one is bidding practice so again this is the very first page right when you log in this is the page you're going to see um bridge base has this great feature where if you're working on a new partnership or if you just want to practice bidding like say you've just added two-way new minor forcing to your convention agreements and you want to practice that you know practice 
start a bidding table. And, you know, uh, I also put my wife because we do this a lot. And I know I won't bother anyone to join my table. So we do this. And as soon as my wife sits down, they will start dealing us hands. And you can even control the type of hands they deal you, but that's a little too advanced for the subject. Uh, but the, the point is, this exists. So this is my point four, the number four item that I find very useful on BridgeBase. And the final option, which I find very useful on BridgeBase, is their solitaire options. There are two solitaire options I strongly recommend. Okay, so again, home screen, you go to solitaire. BridgeMaster. Okay, BridgeMaster is amazing teaching software. They have, um, they just have, what is it? Five levels times 60. So they have 300 hands for you to play through. And it's all controlled by the software. So if you try to take a finesse one way and you find it's offside, then you like redeal the hand and try to take the finesse the other way, you'll find that it's still offside because the point is not to take the finesse. The point is to try to find the winning line, something like that. So this hand, I'm in four hearts, and I'm going to try to embarrass myself by not making it. Okay, I see. So, so anyway, this is Bridgemaster. You can train yourself. They give you preset deals with solutions you're supposed to find, the best possible solution. And you can play the hands like this. So that's Bridgemaster. That's the first solitaire option I find very good. Uh, the second solitaire option I find very good, and this is in part because Pete Hollins, this Australian international fantastic player, records himself playing these. I used to do this too, but you can just watch Pete now because I don't do it anymore and because Pete is better. <laughs> so you go to solitaire, weekly free instant tournament. This resets every Friday. You play against um, three robots. And, you know, so this is, I, I realized I didn't actually show BBO. So this is, this is what it looks like. What is this? Lean and saw? Okay. So you can, you know, click on every bid to see what the robot thinks it means. Oh, that's right. I remember this hand. I already played this week. I, I'm going to do something stupid. Um, and let me just rip through a hand really quick. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to concede all the tricks. I, I don't care. Okay. This is totally free. You can do it as much as you want. And my current score is, well, 0%. But after eight boards, you're going to have a percentage. And then you can go see what Pete Hollins did or compare with your friends saying, hey, these are my history. This is this is what I did on board one. This is what I did on board seven. So this is a really, really great feature. Totally free. Uh, how do I get out of here? Withdraw. All right. So we did five things. We did register an account and log in how to add a friend, right? You can either, if they're sitting at your table like this, you can just click their name and see a nom pops up here and I can follow ignore neutral. Or you could just ask them their name via email, give them a phone, give them a phone call, whatever you do, and you'll fill. And then you click add. And then you chat with them, you know? They show up here, you click their name and you, you send them a message, all right? Third thing was how to host a table and reserve for friends. So this is the home screen, casual, start a table, and then choose your options. You can even pick match points, but very few people play, play match points on bridge base. Um, and then put in the names. Uh, bidding practice, which is solitaire. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, practice, bidding table, and the solitaire options, which is bridge master and weekly free. So that's it. Hope everyone stays safe during this kind of scary time, and but you can still enjoy Bridge at a social distance. Thanks, everyone.